Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and hitting that play button. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you do not miss an upload as well. Um, but in the meantime, make sure you guys are also checking out my earrings. These are actually new. I haven't dropped them on the site yet, but they will be up there shortly. Um, within the month, they should be up there. Um, but these are new. I just got these in and I cannot wait to put them on the site. I'm going to actually do a close up of these because I actually really, really like them. Yeah. Okay, so I want to do a close up on these because these are so gorgeous. I love them um, so much. Um, so yeah. So these are coming soon, but I do have a couple more, a few other styles on the site as well that um, are already there. And you guys seen a, a few of those featured in my previous videos, but these are new and a couple ha have a, actually a bunch of new styles that I'm going to be uploading to there really, really soon. But I kind of want to move those first um, before I just bombard my site with just a ton of different styles that there's just so much to choose from. But at the same time, I am going to be releasing them before before February. They will be on the site. Um, and also my natural hair consultations are still on my website as well, along with my ebook, which my ebook is only $2.99. It's five tips of how to start a natural hair care regimen, along with my multi purpose goat milk and honey soap, which I love. I don't have one in here to my bathroom, but I use it on my daughter. I use it on my face. I use it on my skin. I use it to clean my makeup brushes. I pretty much use it for anything that you can use soap for. <laughs> um, so I have um, that, that on there as well. If you guys want to check any of that stuff out, also, my Total Diva merch is also available as well, which I will be adding some leggings to the site really soon. I just haven't had time to sit down and um, make it live, but that will be live as well before um, before February as well. I'm actually probably going to work on that sometime later today. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So for today, I'm just going to be doing the final installment from the Juvia's Place mini palette collection. And today I'm going to be focusing on, last but not least, the chocolate palette. Um, this was the one that I was kind of the most excited about because I feel like these shades are just super warm and just usually right up the alley of something I would just purchase without hesitation. Um, these are the shades in the palette. It's very giving me just so warm. Love shades like these. And these are probably the shades that I kind of use the most. Um, so that's kind of why I did it last because I feel like this is probably a look you guys have seen, has seen on me before, but I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place chocolate mini palette, obviously. So I wanted to get that out. Um, but I was going to keep this, um, look all chocolatey, including my lips, but I felt like I wanted to get my lips a little pop of color. Um, and red is like my go-to pop of color shade. So that's what I did. Um, and it went really, really good with the look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm already starting with my eyes already primed and I'm going to be going in with that very nice brown transition shade. You guys know this kind of shade is like one of my favorite transition shades. It was actually a lot darker and not as orange as I would have liked it to have been, but it's still a really, really nice color and super pigmented. Next I'm going to go in with the lighter shade in the palette and apply it to my brow bone highlight really just to blend out that top part of the transition shade. Next I'm going to run with the deepest matte shade and I'm going to apply that to my outer V area and just blend that in to the transition and kind of into the crease. Next I'm going to go in and cut my crease with some concealer after this. I don't really cut it but I just kind of lay down a base so that I can have something kind of sticky to apply the satin shadow on top of.
that last shade in the bottom row and I'm gonna apply that to the area just I just applied the concealer to. I actually picked this color because I felt like this is probably a color I haven't used before and I actually ended up really, really liking it. It's a super pretty, very pigmented color. I like it a whole lot. I love the color. It's kind of like a greenish gold or olive gold kind of shade. I really, really like it. Or olive like bronze, maybe. relationship with this foundation I feel like some days it works great other days I'm just annoyed with it but I kind of believe it's just based off of how my skin is actually doing when I use it but this day it actually looks really really pretty and really nice on my complexion so I do usually mix it with spiced rum in the summer months but chai pretty much works well for the winter months I'm just going to blend it out with my Morphe Beauty Sponge just to soak up any excess and just make it look a little bit more seamless. Now I'm going to go in with the, uh, I believe it's the Boring Slate Concealer or the Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut and apply that to the high points. And I'm going to go in with my NYX HD Concealer in Espresso for my contour. first and then with a beauty blender. just to bring the look all together I'm going to apply the dark shade very very close to the lash line and then I'm going to apply the shades I use in my transition underneath that um, just to kind of really smoke it out and just tie the look together Actually, I like all their loose powders, but this is one of my favorites. Next, I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Almond Setting Powder from Beauty Bakery as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the bronzing powder from CoverGirl. I believe it's the ebony bronzer. Um, the packaging is different though, but it's, it's the same bronzer. And I'm just going to set my contour and just really not sculpt it out, but just 
blend it together to give my face a little bit more depth. Now I'm going to go in with um, the Volume 1 Blush Palette from Cupid's Place and I'm just going to use that red shade. This is kind of like my go-to red blush and apply that. Next I'm going to go in with my Hangover Setting Spray just to set my entire face. Love this stuff by the way, it smells so good. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Lip Liner in the shade Espresso and I'm just going to apply that to my lip. And I believe the liquid lipstick that I used was um, Lulu from Juvia's Place and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. Um, yeah, this was Lulu. I freak is a little bit brighter, but I went in with Lulu for this look, and I just love how it turned out. Super pretty. Just love it. But that is pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little series of the Juvia's Place mini palettes that I did. Let me know if you like me doing these styles of videos where I kind of do the entire collection. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!